This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at the area of your Google Drive called Shared With Me and talk about how you can organize it. Many people wonder what Shared With Me is and where all the files came from that are located there. Anytime a file is shared with you by someone else, or if you click on a link or look at a file that's somewhere on the internet that happens to be a Google file, it will show up in the Shared With Me area. It's important to understand that Shared With Me is not actually a location in your Google Drive. Files are not really taking up any space. They're just simply there because Shared With Me functions as a label. Any files that fit the criteria that are not owned by you but are rather shared to you and are otherwise not located in any particular folder in your drive will show up in Shared With Me. Which begs the question, how can you organize Shared With Me? if there are files in there that you need to have access to. Because Shared With Me is not a place to go looking for things. Files are organized only in the order in which they were received. So the newest files appear at the top and the oldest ones at the bottom. You can, however, use a shortcut in Google Drive to organize your Shared With Me files. We're gonna take a look at that in this video. Let's get started. To begin, Navigate to Google Drive and click on Shared With Me. It's important to understand that Shared With Me is different than Shared Drives. You may have something called Shared Drives if you're part of a school organization which has created these. This video tutorial is only directed at the Shared With Me area of your Google Drive. So if this is a file I want to organize, I'm clicking on it first and right click on the file and choose this option. Add Shortcut to Drive. Doing so brings up a menu that allows me to choose the location where I want to add the shortcut. I can navigate through my drive and choose a location. Once I've decided on the location, I simply click Add Shortcut. Notice that the file still is located in Shared With Me. It's not necessary to delete the file from Shared With Me because again, it's important to think about Shared With Me as a label and not a location in your Google Drive. However, if I navigate in my Google Drive to the folder that I just shared it with, I will be able to see the file located in that folder. You'll notice the symbol is a little bit different. It shows an arrow because it's a shortcut. This means that if the owner of the file updates it at any point, when I click to open the file, I will always see the most current version. Thanks for watching. For more information about how to use technology effectively with your students, check us out online at teachingforward.net.